Alrighty guys, welcome back to the channel. Good news, good news guys. It's semi good news. Alright, it's some good news, I guess. Yes, I got it out, guys. That's the transmission. I've been ducking and dodging for the last I don't know. Well, it's really not my fault. It came in damaged, but I got a new transmission. That's the old one out of the car. So let me show y'all something, guys. This is crazy. Alright, now y'all know my biggest beef with this whole job was the fact that it was uh all wheel drive equipped okay so look at this and i can see i still got the ptu hanging out all right uh actually i didn't this i probably should have i don't know if i should be showing this guys because this can appear reckless but it's not i mean mechanics gonna do what they gotta do to uh do as little work as possible okay what a i don't know uh but the ptu is still hanging i'm about to bolt it to the transmission all right, now, yes, guys, this was a pain in the butt, just like I predicted. But let me tell y'all something. <laughs> All right, I'm getting ready to do... Oh, and by the way, I couldn't. I tried my damnness to get this PTU out without removing the intake manifold. I had no choice, guys. Oh, that's the way the book said to do it. And I was like, hell with that book. I don't need no stinking book. Yes, it's, it's just hanging there, but it's unbolted. All right, because it's in the way to clear removing this PTU back see right here I'm about to stab the PTU back in the shaft but let me tell y'all something guys if you guys uh, this is a Jeep Cherokee but I'm sure it's the same on any of those little tight compact small mini SUV look I'm gonna show y'all something right straight through there that ladies and gentlemen well you can't even see it let me see if I can get you up right here I see that ladies and gentlemen that is a starter I can almost imagine. I haven't looked at the direction, but in order to replace the starter, you got to remove the PTU. <coughs> in order to remove the PTU, you have to remove uh, the intake manifold. Oh my freaking goodness. And you know what's really hard about the starter? You're just trying to remove everything just to get to this bolt right here. That's, it's two bolts holding both in the starter to the engine. And the other one is up top, and it's even harder because how many of you took a, uh, taking a 90, 940 ATE transmission out? You would know how difficult it is to remove that starter bolt up top. You need a swivel 15 to get down in there. Oh my freaking goodness, guys. It's a pain in the butt. All right, but um, yeah, I, I had this off. Y'all know how hard it is to get this. Uh, this is the TCM. This this uh, transmission has a separate TCM. It has its own TCM. Okay, it's not incorporated into the PCM. So 948 TE equipped with its own personal TCM, guys. Okay, but uh, oh my goodness, to get this PTU out, it's a pain, and it's just lost so many little nitpicking brackets. Again, I got jammed up right here. This was about to break. I just let it soak overnight, on off, on off, until I finally, oh, I can't remember, forget to put this back in, but oh my goodness, guys, this is stuff that make you wanna <laughs> question your career choices, but you just gotta be made a little, made of steel to get this, to be, to enjoy doing this stuff. I, I mean, don't get me wrong, I like what I do, but at some point, at some age bracket, at some age point, I, I'm really starting to use my brain versus my uh, hands labor all right <laughs> now that i have grasped enough knowledge and experience i can use my brain instead of my hands to earn a living okay via what i'm starting to do now okay uh, i might get into automotive instruction instructing but i don't know guys i've saw some of the pay that those colleges and trade school teachers make i'm not impressed <laughs> so not impressed um i'm not knocking it okay and you be on the ruse so i'm saying i've been here for the last um 10 years i got a little freedom guys um working on commission just about for the last two and a half decades so i understand if i don't work i don't eat at an establishment such as that uh when you're supposed to work you're supposed to work <laughs> now it's not that i'm you know what i'm saying i just love my freedom here when you're on commission, you you have to understand if you don't work, you don't eat. Yes, there's some good days, some bad. There's some days you don't run no hours, but you can offset that by turning it up, turn up uh, on days that you work. So, 
Yeah, don't get it twisted. I'm gonna let this car down and show y'all some of the headache how it looks up top. All right, uh, let me take a, a break. I'll be right back. Stay tuned. Ooh, ready, guys? Yes. Here's the top view. <laughs> yes, guys. A hot mess. All right. Where's that starter boat? See, you can't even see it, guys. Straight down there. You got to use a special swivel 15 to get down there. Uh, I had to take the complete fuse. That's not a tip, guys. It's a uh, fuse box. Uh, all of this, I got a boat. I, guys, as far as memory, they try to make it to where you don't have to think a lot. Like, this only going to fit in one slot in the, uh, in the fuse box right here. So, they try to give you a little help. But memory wise, you you this will fall back into place. Okay. There's just so many freaking push pins like this. I'm lowering the transmission, right? For some reason I didn't see this. So this stabbed into the transmission. I'm just stretching the harness. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Look, all these little pins. Oh, nagging, guys. You talking about nagging. But uh, yeah, I got a boat. Remember the boat though. I had to take it off. I took it off. Uh because I went back in, I was going to try to cheat. No, that's coming off. But anyway, I got to bolt that back down. Don't forget this. Try not to damage these pins, cables. Everything going to fall right back into place. Uh, throttle body right there. I had to take it off in order to remove the intake manifold. You can see I didn't remove it all the way. It's just hanging here. Could you imagine reaching back here trying to get these little tight bolts? pain in the butt guys so <clears throat> I tell y'all what man I'm about PCM fuse box Nick picking this Nick picking that all wheel drive only because it's all wheel drive and on top of that the car was hit so I need to get this on film anyway so hold tight I'm gonna let it back up so because this car was in an accident nobody knew and nobody said nothing guys hold tight let me go back up with it All right, guys, I got it back up. This car was hit, so I had a hard time getting this bracket out right here, right? That's because this frame is smashed. I see them, I'm up too close. So, right now the weight of the transmission is on this bar, but yeah, I gotta bolt all that back up. But look, this is smashed. Who knows? I could have contributed to his problem. I don't know. Body shop, get it, they just, Bolt it up the best way they can. Let it go, man. I'm not going to knock the body shop industry because they got to do what they got to do. But, guys, I got a lot of more work to do. I'm nowhere near as done. I got to figure out a way how to bolt this all back up without it being, uh, without it making noise. <laughs> all right. So, 948 TE. Uh, remember I told y'all, drain plug. Where is the damn drain plug? Oh, right here. And the field plug is up top, so drain and refill about all you can do on these. You can't do a transmission pan service because there's no filter. There's a filter, but it's up top. You got to remove the transmission in order to replace the filter. That's right. You heard me right. In order to do to replace the transmission filter, you got to remove the transmission. In fact, watch this video right here where I speak about that. Okay, but for now, let me get this transmission back in or finish this transmission, guys. That's all I have. Thanks for watching.